Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Tim along with Nate for the RealSportsTalk.com college football game of the week. That is number 18, Michigan, falling to number 11, Notre Dame, who is wins this one 13-6, improves to 4-0 for the first time since 2002. And Nate, don't look now, but all of a sudden, Notre Dame is back in business. Tim, yeah, Notre Dame is becoming a football powerhouse once again, and I can't tell you how happy I am to see that. I've been a closet Notre Dame fan for a while, and I just always love to see a team like Notre Dame do good just because they're a Catholic college, and I mean, as a Catholic student for the past 11 years of my life, how can you not root for the underdogs, the Catholics? But anyway, this was an ugly bloodbath of a game to watch, Tim, because it was just terrible football left and right. Denard Robinson had... I think four interceptions in the first half, Tim. This, we're talking about Heisman candidate had four interceptions in the first half. That is just, that is, he's done for Heisman, if you ask me. And I think Notre Dame proved their legitimacy tonight. They had three, they had two field goals and a touchdown. Tommy Reed's rushed for the only touchdown now, Tim. I, I can tell you right now, if Notre Dame keeps playing this well and at this caliber, first of all, they'll be serious BTS championship contenders, and second of all, Tommy Reeves will be a Heisman candidate. Yes, you heard it from me, Nate Sommer, Tommy Reeves will be a Heisman candidate if Notre Dame keeps up this production. Well, I mean, that, that's certainly going on a limb. I don't know if I'd go that far. He comes in for Everett Golson in this one, plays pretty solid, 8 of 11, 1 for 15 yards, rushes for his first career, rushing touchdown in this one. You, you said it with Denar Robinson. I think he was out of the Heisman candidacy after they lost or really got slaughtered week one by Alabama. But four interceptions tonight, zero touchdowns. He had some moments of brilliance where he looked good. He had a few option plays where he was able to create some things. But he had another fumble in the second half. He overthrew some chances that they really had to get back into this game. And uh, ultimately, Michigan just could not get really to the point where they were able to make this even a, a really a game late that you felt like they had a chance to win. I, I never got that feeling watching this game that Michigan was going to come back and win this. Monty Teo had a really nice game for Notre Dame. It's just a really solid performance. you got to be impressed by Notre Dame. We'll see what they do at the quarterback position. They're heading into their bye week, and then in two weeks they come back at Soldier Field against Miami. It should be interesting to see. I would expect Tommy Reese will be the starting quarterback, but we'll see from there. Notre Dame, number 11, wins 13-6 to over number 18, Michigan. They are 4-0 for the first time since 2002. And uh, by the way, Nate, I'm Catholic and Irish, and I hate Notre Dame, so I, I don't have any problem rooting against Notre Dame. Either way, we will see you guys later.